Hello and greetings. This is Dr. V. C. Sontake, and I am going to take the course heat transfer. Objectives of this video lecture are to explain the energy balance in heat exchanger and to explain the need of LMTD, that is log mean temperature difference. So let us start the first objective, that is study of energy balance in case of heat exchanger by analyzing the heat exchanger. Now an engineer often finds himself or herself in a position 1. To select a heat exchanger that will achieve a specified temperature change in a fluid stream of known mass flow rate. And this situation is handled by LMTD method. Or the situation to predict the outlet temperatures of the hot and cold fluid streams in a specified heat exchanger. And this situation is handled by NTU method. To handle Situation 1 or situation 2 by an LMTD method or NTU method, respectively, as discussed in previous slide, one must need to do energy balance. So, to do that, let us first recall the first law of thermodynamics. In case of heat exchanger, heat transfer rate from the hot fluid or heat transfer rate given by the hot fluid is given by QH is equal to M dot H CPH THI minus THO Watt or Joule per second. Let's say this is equation number 1. In this equation, M dot H is mass flow rate of hot fluid in kg per second. Small CPH is equal to specific heat of hot fluid in joule per kg per kelvin or joule per kg per degree celsius. THI is inlet temperature of hot fluid in kelvin or degree celsius. THO is outlet temperature of hot fluid in kelvin or degree celsius. Similarly, heat transfer rate from the uh, heat transfer rate to the cold fluid or heat transfer rate received by the cold fluid is given by the equation QC is equal to M dot C CPC into TCO minus TCI Watt or Joule per second. Let's say this is equation number 2. In the previous equation 2, M dot C is mass flow rate of cold fluid in kg per second small cpc is equal to a specific heat of cold fluid in joule per kg per kelvin or joule per kg per degree celsius tci is inlet temperature of cold fluid in kelvin or degree celsius and tco is outlet temperature of tco is outlet temperature of cold fluid in Kelvin or degree Celsius. Now, heat transfer in case of heat exchanger is considered as under steady state condition. So, there are two types of heat transfer. Heat transfer rate given by hot fluid and heat transfer is taken by cold fluid at some rate. Under steady state condition, both these two rate of heat transfers will be same. So heat transfer rate from heat exchanger will be equal to heat transfer rate from hot fluid will be equal to heat transfer rate to the cold fluid. So Q is equal to QH is equal to QC. So Q is the rate of heat transfer by heat exchanger is equal to M dot H CPH into THI minus THO is equal to M dot C CPC into TCO minus TCI. Let's say this is equation number 3. 
and this is very important relation we can obtain by energy balance under steady state heat transfer in heat exchanger heat capacity rate capital c the product of the mass flow rate and the specific heat of a fluid into a single quantity called the heat capacity rate it is represented by capital c so heat capacity rate of a hot fluid capital c suffix h is equal to m dot h into cph watt per kelvin heat capacity rate of cold fluid capital c suffix c is equal to m dot c cpc watt per kelvin overall heat transfer coefficient and lmtd heat transfer rate in heat exchanger can be given by can also be given by q is equal to u into a into delta t since heat exchanger involves two mode of heat transfer that is conduction and convection in order to take the effect of thermal conductivity of material in conduction and effectivity of convective heat transfer coefficient of fluid in convection we introduce a new term called as overall heat transfer coefficient this takes into account the combined effect of k and h in combined mode of heat transfer that is conduction and convection so u is a overall heat transfer coefficient a is the heat transfer area this is basically a surface area in meter square and delta t is temperature difference between hot and cold fluid in case of heat exchanger however temperature difference is continuously varying with respect to the location hence in order to determine the actual amount of heat transfer rate log mean temperature difference is used so heat transfer rate can be given by q is equal to u into a into delta tm this delta t can be arithmetic mean temperature difference if temperature variation between hot and cold fluid is linear or this delta t can be delta tm that is logarithmic mean temperature difference if temperature variation between hot and cold fluid is not linear so here in this case delta tm is lmtd log mean temperature difference and it is given by delta ti minus delta to over log of delta ti minus over delta to here delta ti please read this as delta ti delta ti where delta ti is temperature difference between hot and cold fluid at the inlet of the heat exchanger and delta to is temperature difference between hot and cold fluid at the outlet of the heat exchanger so learning outcome of this video after watching this video learner will be able to explain the energy balance in heat exchanger and to explain the need of lmtd with this i come to an end of this video lecture thank you for your kind attention and passionate listening happy learning